Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Keefe 75 Games. I am Keefe, and today we are going to take a look at a PS5 blog about the PS5 teardown. A basic inside look at our most transformative console yet. I am on the PlayStation blog site, and I am going to go over a few things here, and then we are going to watch a video of... The engineer who helped design the PS5, um, I believe his name is like Yoshirio something to that effect, but we'll get to it. I know I'm butchering it, but uh, I'm not going to jump ahead. We'll just read this real quickly, and then we'll watch the video, and then we can start a discussion in the comments if you'd like. So without further ado, let's just start it, okay? So... Your first look at PS5's internal components that will power the next generation of amazing games. Uh, it's getting close to November, and we are very excited for the launch of the PlayStation 5 console. Today, we wanted to give you a sneak peek at the console's interior, so you can take a look at all of the magic happening inside of the PS5 that brings out the beautiful games you'll experience this holiday season. We begin... We begin conceptualizing the PS5 in 2015, and we've spent the past five years designing and developing the console. Wow, they started actually developing it in 2015. Imagine that, it took that long to get to where they are today, but that's, that's great, it came out wonderful. Our team values our well-thought-out, beautiful design architecture inside the console is an internal structure looking neat and tidy, which means that there aren't any unnecessary components and that the design is efficient. As a result, we are able to achieve our goal of creating a product with a high degree of perfection and quality. In this teardown video of the PS5 console, you will be able to see how we thoughtfully integrated our technology into this console. We felt it was inevitable to make a generational leap in terms of performance in order to deliver a new next generation gaming experience. However, to do so, we had to balance every aspect of the system from focusing on reducing the noise level to enhancing the cooling capacity more than ever before. Because God knows that the PS4 sounds like a 454 Boeing aircraft taking off when you got taxing games inside such as COD Modern Warfare or or the the new Ghost of Tsushima games like that are very taxing on the PS4's hardware and it's like pushing that system to the limit and it's doing all it's can to cool itself where we know it gets really hot and it gets loud so they took all the precautions and you'll get to see in the video where I think it's absolutely amazing what they did but anyway let's get on with this story here it says we've also highlighted the mechanism in the video below that we've incorporated into the PS5 console to make the operation sound even quieter after an extensive and complex trial and error process we're pleased with the end result and I cannot wait for our fans to get their hands on the PS5 console and hear it for themselves and this is the video here that we will get to shortly and it says, although we have faced unprecedented challenges this year, with many of us working remotely from home throughout the world, we are pleased to be able to deliver a new transformative experience to you with PS5 this November. And then it goes on to say, do not try this at home, risk of exposure to laser radiation, electric shock, or other injury. Disassembling your PS5 console will invalidate your manufacturer's guarantee. So basically, if you try to break your console down, just like any other generations of consoles, once you peel that little tape off the screw heads, you totally invalidate your manufacturer's warranty and it is no longer any good. So if you want to keep that in good standings, then don't break it down. You know how that goes. Um, one more little thing kind of blog to get into is here um, this blog is by Daniel Piper and it was done eight hours ago um, and it says it's big very big 
Sony PlayStation 5 console became the butt of many a meme when its design was finally revealed in June. From a skyscraper to a Wi-Fi router, the general consensus was that it looked pretty much anything but a games console. But Sony is clearly proud of the PS5's gargantuan design and has now treated fans to a glimpse of what's going on inside that very large body. In a video titled PS5 Teardown below, Yashuri Atari, and that's the name I was trying to say earlier, but I kind of butchered it, and I butchered it again. Sony's VP of Mechanical Design disassembles the entire console, giving us an ultra-detailed look at the PS5's intricate and powerful internals. If you fancy making your own video, blah, 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 that's just some sort of ad for a laptop that I'm not going to get into. Um, so basically, then it goes on saying, designed to give fans a look at all the magic happening inside the PS5, the step-by-step -step video reveals the console's cooling fan, Blu-ray drive, CPU, and heatsink, which, appear, which appears to take up a large portion of space inside the machine. But the main thing the video reveals is just how large the PS5 really is. Seen in a real-life setting alongside a real-life human, the PS5 is clearly no Nintendo Switch. Um, then it says, perhaps all those memes were onto something. As you can see here in this video, the PS5 is nearly just as big, or if not bigger, as this man's torso. It's kind of big. But, if you think of it this way, this new generation PS5 console is like a computer. And a computer tower is big. It's big because it needs room to store the parts that are inside of it to make it run properly. PS5 is big because it houses the proper parts to make it run properly. Does it make sense? I think so. So, down here at the ending of this blog, it says tech teardown videos are common, but it's rare to see one created by the manufacturer itself. And before the product's release, do in uh, November 12th, with so much talk online about the PlayStation's 5 enormous size, perhaps Sony was keen to show just how much it's happening inside. In this teardown video of the PS5 console, you will be able to see how we have thoughtfully integrated our technology into this console, Sony says. To make a generational leap in terms of performance and deliver a new, next generation gaming experience, we had to balance every aspect of the system from focusing on reducing the noise level to enhancing the cooling capacity more than ever before. Indeed, there's clearly very little empty space inside the PS5, although it's oddly satisfying to see every element spread out side by side. But if you're thinking of trying this yourself, when you finally get your hands on the PS5, Sony has a simple message for you. Don't. Disassembling your PS5 console will invalidate your manufacturer's guarantee. And it's basically just says, you know, disclaimer reads at the very start of the video. So without further ado, guys, we are going to jump into this PlayStation video. Then it shows the PlayStation teardown. This is Yashuri Atari. He's the VP Mechanical Designer. And it says, uh, you know, all the dimensions of it. Shows you at the bottom of the screen. I put on uh, closed captions so you guys can read it. It is pretty big. I mean, look at the size of this thing. But it's made well. You know, and then it shows you on the front. It has a USB-C port and a US Type-A port, USB. Um, it has two Type-A ports with super speed USB support. Uh, it's got your landline support and your HDMI and your power point down at the bottom, your AC in. And you have your air vents that go along the whole outer edges of the PS5 itself. And the entire rear side is this exhaust port. They really thought this out. And then it has the base at the bottom, which no matter which way you place it, you need to put this this uh, this little contraption on it to hold it in place. He goes into showing you how it's done to to place it on its side. <laughs> 
It's like a transformer. Rotate it, it closes the hole. <laughs> and then it snaps onto the side, and then it holds it in, in place when you lay it on its side. I mean, either way, if you once he opens it and you see the inside, I don't think it really matters which way it sits because the exhaust is made to either stand straight up and down or sideways. You'll see. It's pretty amazing, the inside of this. But we finally get to see the inside. You know, with all the, the recent leaks of the inside of this thing, we finally get to see the exact inside, you know, from ourselves, from him. That's where the cooling fan is built in. And it's a 120 millimeter fan. It's it's a doozy. They did it right this time. It's got two dust catches this time as well, where you can actually clean it out. They thought about this. They put dust catches in there so you can vacuum out the dust. Whereas the PS4, you actually had to break it all down. In the future expansion ports, the PCIe 4.0, where Microsoft has made it prioritary where you have to use theirs, Sony played it safe. Sony made it so that you can use any manufacturer's um, SD card or whatever it is, the exact name of it is, which I think was a great idea. They thought about the consumers there. Not only will Microsoft make it extremely hard to find, because it has to be their own. Now he's going to remove the fan. He's going to show you the internals. The 120 millimeter diameter, 45 millimeter thick double-sided air intake. Look at that thing. When you guys wait until you see the heat sink. The heat sink looks like they kind of made some sort of hybrid between the PS4's heat sink, the PS3's heat sink, and designed one for itself for the PS5 and put them all together. Here's the Blu-ray drive that they have inside of a metal casing. That way, uh, you know, it says layer of insulation to reduce drive noise and vibration when the disc spins which was a very good idea looks like there's little rubber grommets at the top to keep it you know then it's got a Wi-Fi 6 and a Bluetooth 5.1 antenna which the Wi-Fi in a PS5 is supposedly supposed to be the best so far here's the motherboard Look at this thing. Now they were supposed to be doing some design on some liquid metal to help cool this thing. And that's one of the biggest pots and he's going to talk about it here in a second. CPU CPU has 8 cords and 16 threads. It's basically an AMD Ryzen Zen 2. And it's 10.3 teraflops, which is pretty damn good with the RDN Day 2. That's incredible for a generation of consoles, mind you. GDDR6, 16 gigabyte RAM. This is like a mini custom built computer guys I mean this is amazing how they crammed all of this into this console I mean significantly reduces the load times that's the PC 5 SOC is so small die running at the very high, high clock rate they did an incredible job is the liquid metal we were just talking about to ensure long-term stable high cooling performance they spent over two years preparing the adoption of the liquid metal cooling mechanism look at it that kind of just floats around in there that's what keeps it cool to the heat sinks Look at this. That's the heat sink. Look at the size of that thing. 
then if you go on and say it says the, like the PS3 and PS4 it uses a heat pipe however the shape and airflow have made it possible to achieve the same performance as a vapor chamber that is incredible and there is the PSU 350 watt power supply that comes out in case you need to you know maintenance it or something there it is ladies and gentlemen PS5 has been all taken apart so what you see here that's all the parts of the inside of the PS5 so guys what I want to ask you now is what do you guys think of the PS5 will you guys be getting one do you already have one pre-ordered will you be getting one at launch um, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm curious. I'm curious to know what you guys think about the video we just watched. Um, let me hear your thoughts. Let me hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, if it was informational to you and you got anything out of it, please smash the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated and it would help the channel in so many ways possible you guys don't even imagine just a simple click on the like button helps my channel so please guys smash the like button subscribe to my channel and I can't wait I am so excited for the PlayStation 5 so with that being said guys peace oh, yeah.